Hey loves and welcome to my channel. As you see from today's title, I'm so so excited because I am going to be announcing Kiara Sky's brand new launch of not only one item, but two, maybe even three. But I'm so excited because they have just been launching so many products and they're all new. They're super cool. I, you know, obsess over all of them and you guys know that I recommend all of their stuff i use them all the time and so i cannot wait to get my hands on these actually do a nail set on myself so you guys can see how they work and yeah let's just get right into it i see new packaging new products and i'm just trying to get in there already so the first thing that i'm going to show you guys is the gel pod pro paint and look at how cute their packaging is let me go ahead and move the other one so this is their packaging it comes in this box with all of them in it it comes with 12 and i just love the color scheme browns pinks and um like rose golds or gold it's so pretty and this is what the gel pod pro paint collection looks like i absolutely love it so it comes with a black white yellow orange red pink purple blue green brown and then i believe these two are like nudes and let's get into this one so today's video i'm actually going to be doing a nail set inspired by like my baby shower which is in a few days which i'm so excited about um but i'm gonna do like a teddy bear theme for my baby shower so i want to do a teddy bear nail set on myself today for today's video using the products from kiara sky I love the nude aesthetic so it's a matte nude like gel pod paint gel pod paint pot <laughs> and it's so pretty it has the name of the gel at the bottom which this one is going nuts and I really love that you can see the color of it right here so the word pod has the color of the gel and right here on the side it has like a few swishes of um paint and you can see the color just like this one this is a pink one it's called pinky swear the color pod is the color of the gel and it has it on the side so they're all like that and for today's video i'm going to be putting them on the side so i'm going to be using going nuts which is the brown pitch black blank slate and then i might be using sapphire and beige so let me show you the five colors i'm going to be using today because i'm going to put the rest to the side here they are and they're so cute okay so let me go ahead and show you the next product which are the nail art brushes it comes with like a matching packaging so like i mentioned earlier like the really cute dots around it has kiara sky right here and it has eight pieces so let me go ahead and open it up so you don't see the glare anymore for my lamp so it is the exact match to their acrylic brushes this is their acrylic brush in the number 12 and it says Kalinsky 12 on it and they're the perfect match literally exactly the same so I love that so they're out of their packaging and these make it look so like luxurious the tops the way they're covered super like cute and it has Kiara Sky at the top I mean these are so cute are these like the covers for them it, they are that is so cool so i'm going to take off the plastic from all of them which you do not need and then i'm going to show you them individually so here are all of the brushes and like i said it has their name on each one imprinted which is so so cool this right here is basically like a pack or like they come together because they're the same they're liner brushes there's a liner S, liner M, liner XL, 
and the s is perfect for fine details in your nail art i mean it's so so fine that you can get so much precision in your nail art i love it i don't think i have a nail art brush this short and then the m is usually what i use for nail art as well it's just a little bit longer and the XL I usually use for like French tip nails because it is the longest one there is. So this is the round S and this I would use to get around like the cuticle areas when you're applying gel all over the nail just to clean up. Your 3D art brush which of course you use for 3D art. Round M so they also have the round M. I have seen these being used for like flowers used with gel polish and stuff but you could also use them for around the cuticle area which is what i usually do and then these two are the flat brushes in s and m so let's get into the nail set so i'm gonna be using these four nail art brushes shirley temple acrylic which is a cover acrylic from kiara sky and another one of their newest products which is the square non c-curve tips they actually have them available in clear and natural and in coffin as well. They launched these, I want to say, like two to three weeks ago. So they're on a roll when it comes to launching products. It's amazing. So we're not focusing too much on the acrylic application in today's video. And I do love to leave it in. But this video was going to be super long if I left it all in. So I'm just showing you um, in real time my acrylic application on this one nail and then i'm going to be back once i'm done with the entire application on like my whole hand i'm also doing the thumb today which is something really really different on my channel because i usually leave that out since it's just like an extra step and i just take it off anyway right after but i did the thumb for an instagram video so if you guys haven't seen it yet i'm probably already uploaded it by now but um yeah, it is like a mini tutorial because I definitely wanted to let you guys know on my Instagram about the launch of these brand new products. And I wanted to do like a mini tutorial as well. So it's like an acrylic application slash nail art set. Um, and it will be up on my Instagram. So if you guys don't follow me, make sure to do so. So I decided to go with Shirley Temple because it is a beautiful nude acrylic, but it has um like a hint of pink so it's like a gorgeous pink ish nudish acrylic and i just love the way it contrasts with the colors that i'm using today as you know my favorite cover acrylic from kiara sky is called sweetest pie but that one has a little bit more of a brown undertone and since i was using a lot of darker colors and browns i wanted something to pop in the background so that's why i decided to go with like this pinkish color um, it's not too pink, but you can definitely see like that pink tint on it. It's a gorgeous acrylic, so buttery, like so pigmented, um, no marbling, and I just absolutely love it. I'm also using the Kiara Sky acrylic brush along with their monomer, which is the monomer that I always use because it's my favorite. Low odor, it's amazing. And, you know, with this pregnancy, I am trying not to like... I try not to do nails as much because I don't want to be smelling, obviously, the chemicals and stuff. My doctor said it was perfectly fine for me to do these nail videos and stuff. But Kiara Sky Monomer is amazing because it is low odor. And I obviously don't do nails like back to back hours and hours of sitting. I do do them like occasionally and I try not to sit for a very long time doing them, obviously smelling everything. So I like I know how to like divide my time when it comes to doing nails, especially now that I'm pregnant. Um, and so that is something that I would say, I don't know if I would say like you have to do that, but that's just based on my experience. And I also get really scared because my migraines are just like really bad through this pregnancy, worse than they were before. Um, I get them a lot and they last so long because I'm trying obviously not to take like medicine and stuff as much as i can so i try not to like sit for too long i try not to be in on my nail desk for too long concentrating on one thing for too long um just like these small things to avoid getting migraines because like i said i'm trying not to take any medication and um they last days 
now, you know? So, anyways, back to the nail art. I'm done with the entire acrylic application on all of my nails. And now we're going in with the um, pods. So, I decided to use this dotting tool, which it wasn't like the best idea because it did leave, leave some bubbles since it's not like a flat surface. It like I swirl, swirl it around so it kind of leaves a little bit of bubbles in it or like a little bit of indent. It's not like the perfect consistency since I'm not using a nail art brush. Should have used the nail art brush, but I did it that way. It is what it is because the little circles can get very tedious, like the ears and the, the feet and or the paws and stuff. Um, but once I was done with that, I went in with the hearts. And I used the really, really small liner brush, and it was perfect. I loved it. Now, keep in mind as well, you guys, I wanted to have not like a 3D effect, but a little bit of a thicker consistency of the gel pods. And so that's why I would pick up a lot of the color. But you don't have to do that. Like for nail art, you know, if you want it as flat as possible, obviously just swipe it into the pod and then like wipe off any excess. But I wanted that extra... Um, color on my nails i wanted that extra consistency so i would kind of swoop it up and pick it up like no matter how much i got and that is what i was aiming for so i did like three to two hearts on each nail i only wanted the teddy bear on one nail and honestly you guys like this gave me a great idea for my baby shower nails which is in a few days and I have no idea what I want to do. But at the same time, I'm like, I don't know. Should I? Should I not? I definitely want to change my blue nails. And I think I want to do brown. Not 100% sure yet. I have like two days or one day to do my nails. Um, but I, I really, really don't know what I want to do. Maybe I would just like actually fix these nails up. The press-ons or the pop-off ones that I'm doing right now. And maybe just wear those. But I don't know, you guys. Like, I'm literally at a crossroad because i have so many cute if you guys haven't seen my timo unboxing i have so many i grabbed so many cute like teddy bear themed nail products like stickers and 3d things and stuff so i want to use something like that but at the same time last minute i end up getting super super lazy and i end up not using anything and i just do like a basic one color which i hope i'm not going to end up doing that but you know, with me, like, it depends on how I wake up, if I feel good, how I feel that day, if I can sit for a long time and do nails. So it all depends on the day that I'm going to sit down and do it. <laughs> so now I'm grabbing the dark blue color. I, of course, wanted to incorporate blue for my baby boy. And I'm using the dotting tool again. I did pick up more of the color as well because I wanted, like, a thicker consistency like the rest of them and um i'm just placing them like in random spots around the nail and i'm doing from one to three on each and then once i'm done with that color i'm going in with that same dark brown and then i'm going with that nude and it just makes everything like pop all together and come together and make it look super super cute and then the last part that i probably dread the most when i'm doing nail art is like the fine super super fine lines like outlining the actual drawing and then putting it all together making it come together because obviously all i did was the like outline of it but no like the intricate line work is what scares me the most because i get super frustrated anytime i do nails when it comes to nail art and i'm doing like these fine lines and stuff i start like shaking i start moving I like everything goes wrong i mess up and then i get frustrated and that's basically how it would go for each time i would do nail art ever so i'm grabbing the same dotting tool and i'm using the light um color or the nude and then i'm going in with the black here's what i'm talking about i start shaking i start getting frustrated i start overthinking i try not to breathe during this part because i don't want to move too much but these gel or nail art brushes make it so easy because of how fine they are and they're just super super thin i love the length of the liner brushes it makes it super super easy and so here i am just drawing the teddy bear outlines and down the middle like a little patchwork and around the ears and the eyes and the nose so i did get this nail from pinterest i'm not sure who the original creator is because i didn't have 
um, their like watermark or their name on it. So I'm not sure who it was, but I did get it off of Pinterest. I just put teddy bear nail art and that's where I got the teddy bear from and the inspo. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I went in with the top coat and this is the entire nail set. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.